SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launched off from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida on Wednesday, marking the company's 200th launch. The transporter's sixth flight sent 114 satellites into orbit, the second highest number of satellites sent into space by a single launch vehicle. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we will take a look at SpaceX launching its 200th Falcon 9 rocket. For the 200th time, SpaceX launched its Falcon 9 rocket. On January 31st of 2023, the 200th Falcon 9 rocket launched off from SpaceX's Vandenberg Space Force Base SLC-4E pad, measuring 70 meters tall and 3.7 meters broad. Aside from the statistical significance, the Starlink 26 mission was a routine launch of SpaceX's own broadband satellites. SpaceX, on the other hand, withdrew a pair of 310-kilogram Starlink V1.5 satellites to make way for an ion orbital transfer vehicle developed by the Italian space logistics business D-Orbit. Ion SVC-009 carried four hosted payloads, a solar sail meant to accelerate satellite deorbiting, a prototype of a satellite deployment mechanism, a computer constructed by Swiss students, and a memorial payload containing cremated human remains. Ion SVC-009 was launched around an hour after Falcon 9. 20 minutes later, a set of 49 Starlink satellites successfully completed Falcon 9's 200th launch. 12 and a half years ago, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket made its premiere. Given that the company's only prior experience was with a notoriously unreliable rocket of a magnitude smaller, Falcon 9 got off to a strong start, with only one partial failure in its first five years of service. Falcon 9 had its one and only in-flight failure in June of 2015, followed by a devastating explosion on the ground in September of 2016. However, since returning its workhorse rocket to flight in January of 2017, SpaceX has not had a single failure. Falcon 9 launched Starlink 26 for the 177th time in a row, the most of any rocket in history. Against all odds, Falcon 9 has achieved exceptional dependability while also serving as the only partially reusable orbital class rocket in operation. Starlink 26 was also SpaceX's 93rd continuously successful Falcon booster landing and 138th reuse Falcon booster launch. Few rockets in history can boast of successfully launching 93 times. Fewer still have launched 200 times in total or 199 successful launches. Depending on how related variations are classified, only about a half dozen of the 100 plus orbital rockets created in the history of spaceflight have launched 200 times or more. It is unlikely that SpaceX's Falcon rocket family will ever come close to variations of specific Soviet-era rockets, one of which has flown nearly 800 times. But it is also likely that another current rocket will take decades to match Falcon. SpaceX executives have stated that the company's partially reusable Falcon rockets will eventually be replaced by Starship a more capable, fully reusable rocket that is still in development, but Falcon is far from finished. It took 10 and a half years for Falcon 9 to perform its first 100 launches. The next 100 took slightly more than two years. Meanwhile, SpaceX's launch cadence continues to accelerate. Falcon 9 might launch for the 300th time in the first half of 2024 if the corporation gets its way. Starlink 2.6 was SpaceX's seventh launch in a month for the second time in a row. February could be even busier than usual. SpaceX plans to begin the second month of the year with another Starlink launch as early as February the 2nd. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy your future videos while getting updated. Now coming back to the topic. A pair of SpaceX Falcon 9 rockets are on track to finish the first month of 2023 and begin the second with a Starlink doubleheader to conduct pre-launch checkouts. SpaceX postponed the month's final flight by 24 hours. On Monday, January the 30th, the first Falcon 9 rocket will launch Starlink 26 and a deorbit rideshare payload at 8.29 a.m. PST. 
The mission will launch from SpaceX's Vandenberg Space Force Base SLC-4E pad and will travel southeast, hugging the coast of California and Mexico. In the event of inclement weather or a minor technical fault, a backup window will be available at 12.31 PST. A second Falcon 9 rocket will launch from SpaceX's NASA Kennedy Space Center LC-39A pad in Florida as soon as 3.02 AM EST on Tuesday, February the 1st. Starlink 26 will be the first of the pair and will be SpaceX's sixth Starlink rideshare mission since the company began manifesting third-party payloads on its broadband satellite launches in June of 2020. The mission's main cargo, a batch of 49 Starlink V1.5 satellites, will be launched by Falcon 9 into a semi-polar orbit, crossing the Earth's equator at an angle of 70 degrees. Normally, the flight would carry 51 Starlink satellites, but SpaceX has eliminated two satellites to make way for D-ION Orbit's CSV-009 spacecraft. ION weighs about 160 kilos and is about the size of a large oven. This spacecraft was built by D-Orbit to hold fixed payloads and launch rideshare satellites in orbit. It also includes a propulsion system that allows it to perform last-mile delivery services, allowing rideshare clients to change the orbit of their satellite. Because NASA was concerned that a Starship failure would prevent SpaceX from finishing its Crew Dragon or Falcon Heavy contract for the agency, the company prioritized Starship's Florida pad halting work. Despite this, SpaceX has made great progress. In 13 months, SpaceX has built foundations, modified one of Pad 39A's giant spherical tanks to store cryogenic methane, installed miles of plumbing, built and assembled a second skyscraper-sized Starship launch tower, installed the legs of the pad's orbital launch mount, and installed a water deluge system at the base of the OLM. SpaceX recently completed the construction of a massive pair of steel arms carried them to Pad 39A, connected them to a wheeled carriage, and erected the structure on Starship's Florida Launch Tower. SpaceX personnel have called the arms chopsticks, and those limbs are key to what Elon Musk calls Mechazilla. Mechazilla is the name given to the combined launch tower and arms planned by SpaceX to grasp, hoist, stack, and fuel both stages of Starship. The most basic feature of Mechazilla is a third arm that is fixed vertically but can swing left and right. The swing arm houses piping and an umbilical device that links to the upper stage of the Starship and provides propellant, gas, electricity, and connectivity. The chopsticks on the tower are significantly more intricate. Giant hinges connect the pair of arms to a carriage that uses a dozen skate-like appendages to seize three of the tower's four legs. The carriage can travel up and down tracks constructed into the tower's legs thanks to the skate wheels. Space talks such as ION attempt to provide satellite owners with some of the advantages of a dedicated rocket launch while keeping the majority of the cost savings that rideshare launches provide. After reaching orbit, Falcon 9 will deploy ION first, then spin itself end over end with thrusters before releasing all 49 Starlink satellites at the same time. The centrifugal force of the rotating stage of the rotating stage causes the satellite stack to organically spread apart over several hours. The satellites then utilize reaction wheels to stabilize their orientation, solar panels to charge their batteries, and ion thrusters to reach operational orbits. The ION SCV-009 spacecraft will aim to test a new satellite separation technology developed by EBAT and demonstrate its potential to operate in very low Earth orbit. The spaceship could theoretically descend to a height of 270 kilometers. Starlink 5-3 will not carry any rideshare payloads and will most likely be almost identical to Starlink 5-2, which was successfully launched on January 26 by SpaceX. The newest mission stack of 56 Starlink V1.5 satellites weighed 17.4 tons, making it the biggest payload ever launched by SpaceX. 
Starlink 5-3 is aiming for the same orbit and will most likely contain 56 satellites. Pad 39A was last used to support SpaceX's fifth Falcon Heavy launch on January 15th, and it was swiftly converted back to its single-core Falcon 9 configuration for Starlink 5-3. After the Starlink mission, Pad 39A will be used for at least two Dragon spacecraft launches before being converted back to a triple booster configuration for Falcon Heavy's sixth launch. SpaceX plans to fly Crew Dragon's Crew-6 astronaut transport mission on February 26, followed by Cargo Dragon's SPX-27 cargo delivery mission on March 11. Falcon Heavy is set to launch the massive Viasat-3 communication satellite on March 24. And with that being said, it is time to end our video. Before that, we would like to know, what are your views about the future of Falcon 9? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this one. We will see you in the next video.